Greetings everyone, here's Lodric again and this is the game War in the Pacific Admirals Edition and today the check the 5th January 1942 in the match against Jochen, Jochen allied player, for me it's the Empire of Japan. And uh, in the last turn my first carrier division just uh, arrived uh, close to the uh, coast of uh, northeast of Australia, Townsville in the area and uh, I was able to sink three, four cargo ship, two transports with 1000 uh, allied uh, uh, soldiers on board included. So I was able to intercept some shipping from Jochen to reinforce Port Moresby. There was also I think a cargo or task force coming back from Port Moresby, so it was empty, but also gets destroyed. And on the other hand, uh, my Air Force was able to decimate, uh, I think, the cap fighters of Port Moresby. Also, the P-40s had no chance against the Zeros. Kill ratio was 4 to 1. But I lost one light cruiser and uh, two, three uh, minesweeper destroyers. So, from the point, perspective it was still a victory for Japan but uh, a little bitter victory so let's see how today will play out and good this is the India Ocean and I am able to sink one standard cargo ship maybe six victory points I may mean, not sink but at least damage no sinking sound so far Oh, still no sinking. So maybe the cargo ship really survives this. Hmm. Yeah, my tank has only survived one torpedo hit. Ah, yeah. So not really much activity in the night. Jochen don't try to really battle out my carrier fleet, he maybe try to run away, maybe he have nothing to really fight me. Uh, this early days uh, allies are still not maybe well set up for this. Also because I crippled all American uh, battleships, I sunk two British uh, battleships so there is not anything heavily uh, on the map. Jochen also Consumed all his cruisers, light and heavy cruisers, uh, in uh, in this famous uh, Battle of Java Sea, and uh, it costs me three of my good uh, destroyers. A heavy price for me, hard to replace so far early on. But I was, I mean, this uh, the loss of a uh, four, six, I don't know, maybe up to nine cruisers for Jochen. This is a setback of course and let me operate my units more freely. I only have to fear normally the Catalinas and the Catalinas are really a headache for me. They have simply the range and the no cruiser is safe. So I must find a way to get rid of them. And I sweeping here, uh, I was thinking that maybe because last turn I attacked this airfield and bombed it and bo uh, killed uh, three or four Dutch bombers on the ground. I hoped that maybe Jochen tried to defend this airfield but looks like he give up completely. So my sweeps are without any result. Now we have again this support deep bombardment in China. Slowing down everything what is possible. But not really much effect. Here in the source I throw everything what I have. 
I mean, the numbers are high, but the bomb load is small. Only the Sally bombers have normally a really bomb load. All the others is uh, only support. But uh, I can disable a lot of stuff. And here we are again, airfield attack. Jochen still try with I 15s to hold these guys. This time I don't sweep, I come directly with my bomb uh, formation. But there are less and less uh, I 15s left, so I don't see here any problem. And most of these uh, Chinese fighters have uh, shitty maintenance. And I not, not even must kill them. And if they're returning to base, uh, my bombers maybe have the chance to hit them on the ground. Now we are from behind. This is always a good moment. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. The escort fighters, the Oscars, they did what they, what their job was: protect the bombers, break enemy camp fighters. Now we can bombard and we damage the airplanes on the ground. So some of these Russian airplanes had to return to base because they was already damaged. And now they're getting additional damage. So maybe out of this, I can create some operation. Somehow one of I-15 was able to sneak through, kill one of my bombers. One other bomber gets killed by flag. But again, these are all light bombers and they are useless. They can carry at least some bomb load and, uh, naja. A small damage for the airport. Simply this consumes supplies for the Chinese and they don't have many supplies. And this will uh, make it more hard for Jochen to repair. Uh, yeah, frames on the ground. I-15 still. 
but uh, too late. Ah, on the way out. One more item. Nah, yeah. There's still one Chinese unit behind the line trying to run away. Here with escort for the zeros simply because they are in range of uh, Changcha interceptors. But uh, Jochen have nothing. And uh, this Russian bombers. I thought normally that maybe uh, after he lost three or four of them last turn and he not attack again, but no, he's coming back. I don't want any small damage here. Good. Now my carrier is coming back. Trying to finish off what is uh, left. One more AP is here. Fine. Every d death AP is a good AP. Some small cargo ships. Yeah, good. This is only some small stuff. One AP. Two APs. Wait, three. No, only two APs in total. So two APs and one small cargo ship. With a little equipment still on board, so not bad. So, especially these vehicles and some guns. So we finished this uh, troop transport task force, but there are still more in the port, looks like. Here's a light cargo ship. I think this is a, a bait or something small where it comes from. But Jochen uh, split this. There's only one small cargo ship here. Here is also one in light cargo ship. Maybe Jochen does this always on purpose to uh, offer me some easy kills to lure away from bigger targets. Okay, now is something sinking. And there was a Donia 24 over Miri. Hmm. So this is now a heavy port strike. 50 dive bombers attacking the port of uh, Karenis. Oh, however, it was trying to pronounce this. And we bombing here some cargo ships, but uh, at the end, uh, nothing really heavily. Oh, light cargo ships in AM. The AM is only for. Yeah, anti-submarine duty and the rest is small stuff. So nothing important in this town. And this is now Townsville, this is a much bigger port normally. Here is also not much to hit. Also a AM and a cargo ship. Ah, yeah. I hope for more something value destroyers, cruisers or tankers or whatever but looks really there's not much left.
Today, no Catalinas. Oh, what a lucky day. More sinking. One more American submarine here. Oh! It's an American submarine now. Oh, British. Dutch war. So the Dutch sub maybe sunk already. Yeah, but I cannot detect this. Deep water always hit hard to hit. Okay, my bombardment here in Kukong to keep the Chinese busy and burn supplies. I burn my own supplies but I also burn Chinese supplies and if I burn uh, equally then it's always in favor for Japan. Compared to China, Japan has still much more supplies. So, it's okay. Now we wipe out this Chinese uh, 89 score. They surrender. Nice. Not really much left, but the speed is now free of bandits. Japanese justice return to the countryside. Miri is now port 3. This is the maximum. Good. So this was a good clean day. Normally days I hope uh, for the last three four days, but uh, Jochen always had uh, something to surprise me today. No surprise, luckily. But also the air war was very inactive, it was only standard bombardment, no really air war and because of the no air war no one really lost much. So maybe because I bombard a lot I have higher losses. Three either, who cares. The Sallys are the better bombers. Uh, nothing really important here. Maybe the best is that one fortress is also killed. So one more B-70D, the D edition I think is the old one, the long range. So 4 to 9, but keep in mind these are 4 points, 5 points, and this is 6, 7 points. So 7 points uh, lost for Jochen and I lost uh, also some more points. But okay, uh, anything is destroyed? No. I lost no air wing up to now. Out of nine lost airframes, five pilots are dead. Okay. Good, and ship sunk. Last turn. For me, nothing. We kill this AP. Last turn, I think we heavily damage it, and then the rest is. Uh, I'm not more sure. These are only three light cargo ships. I think there was at least two more APs. Ah, uh, okay. But I think we sank one more of this kind of ship, so, but uh, no tanker, nothing super important, but also a, a little more allied uh, ground forces get destroyed, Chinese and Americans, so it will always add up, uh, but not more. So situation change was normally no at all, still everything is moving. Mm, here was a battle east of Nanyang. The highway is clean, so I will normally bring now this uh, army forces with one half thousand, also in direction of Xi'an. And then we have here all the power. I have already 
one and uh, 1400 attack value but this is maybe not enough because he has 13 units uh, this is maybe equally we have maybe balanced power now so i need more but luckily i have here three and a half thousand coming so three and a half thousand plus this one and a half thousand then i have five thousand attack value and uh, jochen his uh, big army is still over a hex away so i don't think that this army can arrive here in time so we have here this battle and if i can get it in one or two days done then i am the owner of this hex and then uh Jochen must come out and kick me out of my hex. I'm not sure if this will be uh, possible. I also can see that Jochen is moving, looks like uh, bringing his uh, units here back to establish here maybe a second defense line. So he maybe try to rush here and hold this maybe somewhere here, the hex. This is normally a good hex to hold, uh, but can be outflanked. So mm, hard to say where he will normally hold but I also don't know if he's fast enough he's too slow he run back but then he stopped and then he's running again we will see we will see here's this uh, running away unit I try to catch up but uh, I mean not that I invest heavily in this I only send some police forces behind because these are police and these are only bandits and they can try to hunt each other the last days maybe of my army in uh, 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 Kansin is also nearby because the reinforcements of the Chinese forces are dropping in here and I will be outclassed here completely. I make the decision to reinforce better this position because this will block this highway and if I block this highway then no supplies can go to this army. So maybe I will lose this Japanese army I can rebuild them so nothing is lost forever and the Chinese army is still out of supplies so maybe then he must move to this hex and then we battle it out here but I have here a full Japanese division and this is uh, much more tough for him to battle especially because of the terrain so nothing more here Singapore my forces are now one mile away so a little too slow to attack this turn but next turn we have the battle of Singapore so 7th January will be the battle of Singapore this is a sneak or I use this uh, light cruiser formation to try to bypass Jochen's uh, scouts but uh, I have your full detection so Jochen know that I go here out and he know with how many ships and what kind of ships so this uh, breakthrough was not successful at least he know I'm coming if he have something to stop me is another question I will use this normally to blockade the supply lines between uh, India and uh, Rangoon maybe I will keep them somewhere here to support my submarines because submarines are only submarines it's a uh, uh, enemy Corvettes and they have a hard time, but my light cruisers, of course, can get rid of the supplies. So Jochen must have now, if he should ship any supplies to Rangoon, he need at least heavy cruisers to protect this uh, task forces. And I don't know if he have this stuff now available. So nothing, not much more. Nothing happened here. I try to lure Jochen out, but he don't want to attack me. So, ah, yeah, okay. I'm waiting that Singapore fall, and then I will cruise back. So, no new engagement here. Also here, I'm now out of range. So, I'm now in this hex. And this is, uh, I think, Catalinas goes 13. I forgot always. Let's check again. Catalinas... Uh, Catalina right. Catalina Catalina 1 this is a scout plane this is a patrol Australia so they have a normal range of 16 and I don't know why they have here drop tanks if they drop tanks is the same like a normal range make no sense normally uh, don't ask me why uh, and the normal Catalina 4 is a P... P... 
Py4 here. This is his catalyst. And they have a normal range of 15. They can transport torpedoes and even two torpedoes, so they normally have a range of 15. This is really high. This is like a Betty Bomber. Betty Bomber also have a range of 15, but only transport one torpedo. Uh, both have no uh, armor, so they are, I think, equally good. The, of course, the advantage is that this is a float equipped, so you don't need even the aviation support on land. You can have the aviation ship support. So, more easily to maintenance normally. And two torpedoes, but of course, if they have only explosion chance of 50%, you still need two torpedoes to have the same... Uh, potential damage than a Betty Bomber. And they are slower than the Betty Bomber, but uh, uh, the differences are not really so important. Good, so I was able to think a little more stuff. Now everything looks empty, nothing left. Uh, here are submarines, but this is hard to attack, and uh, here's maybe more equipment. But I also see here some uh, bombers, so I don't know if I want maybe stay here too long. Here are more bombers, so I am not so sure if I really want battles this now out. The most important is normally I interrupt uh, any shipping from and to Port Mosby. I bring fear and uncertainty to Jochen's uh, mindset. So I think it's time to go to Port Moresby and make sure that also on Port Moresby maybe some ships try to escape here. If I find here any shipping in Port Moresby I will sink them. Also make sure that the airport of Port Moresby is damaged. And then I think I will return to Rabul. This mission is over. I burn a lot of fuel with my uh, fast movement, full speed. So my carriers are down to 45% fuel level. So. I also have nearly no torpedoes left, so I think it's better to return, rearm, and then maybe come back in one week again. So, and if I repeat this, then there's nearly no way that uh, Jochen can really operate anything between Australia and Port Mosby. Good. I think this is uh, enough. Anything else I can say? Uh, only maybe the industry situation the short upgrade I maybe I can show this here I finish my big uh, industry push or heavy industry push uh, you can see there's still some heavy industry coming but I also have some heavy industry is not more upgrading so I only try to uh, yeah, get some nice numbers here but in latest, uh, I think, nine days, all heavy industry is over. Uh, and then I will not more increase this much more. You can see that I have here a heavy industry output of maximum, uh, yeah, coming close to 16,000. Uh, so I have 8,000 heavy industry points, more or less. Uh, this is maybe first enough for me. And uh, on top of this, the light industry plus the refineries. So I will produce here normally enough supplies. Uh, well, so you can see the, the output of supplies is uh, 15,750 plus 9,845. Uh, uh, in the refineries, this is the uh, output of fuel. Ah, here, here, no, here is the uh, supplies. Yeah, here, you can see here supply production plus fuel production. So, Japan produced 10,000 fuel per day. So, the three tankers, I know the two tankers I lost at 30,000 fuel. So, I lost the fuel production of three days with these two tankers, only to get a feeling of how much fuel I lost. Three days non-stop fuel production for the whole Japanese empire. Yeah, is a blow. Good. Uh, anything else? Maybe a short upgrade about uh, engines. Uh, you can see I play this with uh, A and D on. I can maybe show this again here. So I make realistic A and D. 
So I have uh, not the free choice to switch between production and R&D. I split this. You have R&D tools and they are keeping R&D tools and production will keep production. They cannot interchange. This is keep in mind because this is a really a, a big difference. So what is gray keeps gray. What is yellow will keep yellow. Uh, you can change from R&D to uh, production, but you cannot change from production to R&D back. So you must make sure what you want to do. You can see this uh, H60 is on full R&D now. Means I get every day 3%. So next turn I have a 68, then 71, 74, and so on and so on. Once the 100% is full, this number will go down from October to September, and then from September to August. And I think more is maybe not possible. Uh, you can also roughly say that because I get 3% per day, that one month, uh, A&D will shorten the time of one month. So in the end of this month, I will get one month down. So then I'm at September, then I'm August, and then I think July. So maybe somewhere in July, this uh, engine production will be go online from R&D to production. And also keep in mind, it makes no sense to have higher numbers of R&D than over 30 because there's a limitation. You can only get 1% per day. So the 80 per 80 factory, the 40 factory and the 30 factory will give me both, all each 1% per day. So 1%, 1%, 1%. So never increase these numbers for ND tools. Here you can see in one day I also have here all four factories on R&D, then I get you 4% per day for this 43. I choose to go for four factories for this simply because this engine starts first in 45. It's very hard to get. But if I have here four factories, I get 4% per day. So I get 120% per month. So I can maybe get this uh, engine ready in first of uh, January of 1944 or something like this, or even better. I never calculated, but it must be around this time. And uh, the 45, I also have this four factories. And I try to get this, uh, of course, faster. And uh, every other engine I kicked out. Only 43, 45, and the H60 are important. In my own opinion, of course, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. In the aircraft production, so I activate the zero production again because I have a new pool more left. I still increase the production of uh, Kates and dive bombers. I need them always. Jack, I stop for a moment, but later I will start again. I have still nails in pool, so I don't need nails. Betty's, I'm running a little slow. I try to keep 10 to 15 Betty's in pool, but more I don't need normally. Uh, H6, I also want 10 in pool, and then it's enough. The rest I don't need. Nate I produce because it's a have an engine uh, no one needs more, so I can produce nonstop of the nades, but nades is only for training, so they are not combat. Oscars I need to increase the production, but I mean, I need to produce them, but I will not increase more to the production. Uh, 30, 90, uh, then I have, I'm at 110 per month. I think this is first enough, at least now. I have a problem with the production of the H-35 uh, engine, so I don't want to uh, overproduce this kind of stuff. And this is because I have uh, have not enough uh, H-35 engines, I stop the production of Lilies. I also don't produce the Sonys more because the uh, H-31, I have only limited amount of engines, I don't produce them more. And I use this kind of engine only for the Key 46 because this is the only other airplane can use this uh, engine now. And uh, I need two engines for each fighter. So if I produce here 60 airframes, I need, uh, I produce 30 airframes, but I need 60 uh, of these engines. And uh, I can show this. I have really not more so many engines left. The 31, I have only 173 in pool. So half of the number, I can maybe produce roughly, roughly 80 and a little more airframes of the key 46 scout airplanes i am not need more maybe but if i consume all of these engines it's over then i have no 
I cannot produce more this uh, um, key 46 uh, second edition. Then I need to wait for the third edition because the third edition. I don't know if I have that. Uh, here, this is the third edition. This is based on the H33, and this is under under production. So this is why I want to get this airplane. It's uh, not as soon as possible. I only have one air and factory running for this one, but if I can get it a little earlier, then why not? And here you can see roughly short upgrade to the, what is the situation here. Not this will not change. There's no guarantee that you uh, get an upgrade every turn. It's always a, purely by luck, and uh, the luck is always uh, heavily related to what date you can see here. More far away date, uh, it's uh, more unlikely that you get a, a positive factor. And if it's like uh, here in the top, the roof, it's more likely because they are not more far away. Good. This so far for production and anything else. Thank you all. Take care. Bye-bye.